everybody i'm feeling very opinionated today so we're gonna do another tier list this time we're doing fast food i'm only gonna do tier list about things that i know a lot about and i know a lot about fast food because i'm kind of fat so um i found this tier list online we're gonna go ahead and do it there's probably a bunch missing but this will give you a good idea about what i like to eat personally um don't tell the government thank you all right a and w starting off strong here's the deal right a and w's food is mid it is mid but it's just it's a good comfort food it's like an after work food right you just got done long long shift but you head over to a and w and get yourself and you get yourself like a like a root beer and some of those little like uh what are they called like the little hot dog things bro you can't beat that a and w mid food like definitely gonna be the weakest in the a tier their food is good arby's might be a little bit of a controversial opinion i think arby's at d i think arby's is fries are s tier definitely s tier fries but everything else is like way too expensive for not that good tasting food i said that in a weird manner yeah so arby's fries good good everything else yeah baja fresh mexican grill i've never had that blimpy never had that bojangles i've actually never had that i've been close to one but i live in northern united states and i think they're more southern i think there's one in ohio or something but boston market i've never had that i love how i say i know all about fast food and i just straight up four haven't had a right, burger king is that a sin is it a sin to put burger king above arby's i don't th i don't i can't do that right i will do that you don't want to know why because burger king tastes worse but it's cheap and they got really good fries but there are other things <sighs> we'll switch them later if we need to canes never had carl's jr c checkers c they're kind of like they're literally the same thing aren't they chick-fil-a <sighs> people might get mad at this one probably b i think a lot of people would put them in s tier their sandwiches aren't that good i'm just gonna be honest their chicken like their chicken uh chicken uh nuggets and bites or grilled bites or whatever those are good man yeah, their, their sandwiches are all right b chipotle mm, c i've never had church's chicken cookout never had that culver's a tier right i i culver's has to be a tier del taco never had denny's Man, like a d i don't know it's denny's dude i thought you only get the only thing you go to denny's for is if you want to get into a fist fight in the parking lot you don't go to denny's for the food go there for the entertainment um domino's that's not fast food that's pizza but Domino's does hit. Mm, let's see. DQ, B. Like, again, they're not really fast food. They're ice cream. But you can get, like, hot dogs and stuff from there. I'm going to put them at B because their ice cream is delicious. Uh, Polo Loco, never had. Firehouse Subs. Yeah. Five Guys. See, even that's hard to do. Here's my problem. I have... A high value on price like price in my mind matters a lot sometimes even more than the flavor because it's a ratio of how much i enjoy it versus how much i paid if i enjoy it a lot but i just lost a leg to pay you or i had to give up a kidney i'm not gonna like it as much because i just lost a kidney you know i feel like five guys is that way five guys is good but dude i have to actually like give someone a part of my soul and make like a contract to pay him over a 30 year mortgage just to get a burger from five guys so i'm gonna go ahead and leave five guys to see ihop b delicious i love ihop get me some more in and out burger i've never had that jack in a box never had it's just a sub c jimmy john's whoo straight to a this is the one like maybe exception to the whole price versus deliciousness i think deliciousness it's there it's price it's also not there or is there like it's pricey right but 
I will never say no to my boy Jimmy John's. Ju Jol Jollibee, never had. KFC, ooh. B tier, right? I feel like their chicken is real greasy sometimes, but like nothing will hit more than just a piece of chicken with some mashed potatoes, dude. Say less. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to do a couple of things. Let me take out a lot of the ones that I had most I haven't had Noodle Company, haven't had. Um never had PDQ Penn Station. Um Portillo's Portbelly Qdoba. Let's see what else. Quiznos, I haven't had any of these. Shake Shack, I don't know what that is. I think that's going to be most of them that I haven't had. Um there we go. Okay, there we go. These are all the rest of them that I had. Yeah, a lot of these are probably very, like, different parts of the United States that I just haven't had them. I've been, like, again, like the Whataburgers, I think South, Waffle House, and, yeah, a lot of these don't seem like fast food, but I know they are. But a lot of them I really should be, like, in and out Again, there's not one near me. I want to go try one. But even, a lot of these are, like, isn't Canes, isn't that just, like, a Carl's Jr. Checkers thing? Or am I dumb? I'm probably dumb, but it's okay. All right, let's get back to the list of things that I actually do know. And actually, we're going to get some hard hitters up front here. I, like, I'm, there's like four of them that I want to stick an S tier from here. You know what? I think the entire tier list is going to have to get moved down a peg. Like, let's put these down because I need to make some room for some hard hitters here. Let's do this because I think... I think the next ones are the real A's and S's. So yeah, let's go ahead and move it all down because Little Caesars, dude, cheapest pizza. And a lot of people would be like, oh, it's cardboard. Bro, you taste like cardboard. Like, it's $5. You, you could walk down the street, look between the cracks of the concrete, scrounge up $5 and get yourself a delicious pizza that tastes slightly like cardboard. A tier. Long John Silver's B tier. I mean, is there anyone in the world that wouldn't put McDonald's at S tier? I feel like there's been moments in my life, these dark periods where I did not like McDonald's for a month or two. But I haven't had those. I haven't had one of those in years because McDonald. I I think as an adult, I realized how to not overdo an item, right? I used to just get one thing for a year and then get tired of it and then see McDonald's is gross. Yeah, because I'm stupid and I didn't get other items. Like, look, one month, get McChicken. Next month, get a cheeseburger. The next month, just stick to McNuggets. Maybe the next month, get a little spicy, the Big Mac or a fish filet. You know, maybe just get a fry, a fry with an apple pie. You don't have to get the same thing every time. And I feel like if you divide and conquer their menu... I think McDonald's is an S tier. You can stop it from getting boring and it's delicious every time. And their app is goaded. S tier, McDonald's. Okay, here we go. Sonic, it's, yeah, it's another Checkers, Carl's Jr. Same thing. Popeyes, ooh. Ooh. All right, we'll come back. Pizza Hut, <laughs> we'll put Pizza Hut at C. Panda, oh, Panera Bread, B. God, they're, I would... Oh, what I would do for a bread bowl. It, oh, if you've ever... You can ask people that know me in real life. If you, if, if you put a bread bowl in front of me... Mm, it's not it's not, it's not not pretty. White Castle, C. Wingstop, C. Wendy's, C. Shake Shack, D. Yo, but D. Papa John's, D. Alright. We got some hard headers here. Um, whoo, man, I mean, Panda Express at S tier? Dude, I love Panda Express. Where's my wallet? I got a Panda Express gift card right in here. Where you at? I know you're in here somewhere. Is this it? Don't look at my money. Where is it? I got a Jimmy John's. There we go. Jimmy John's. Where? Okay. I know I have a panda in here somewhere. A friend gave it to me, I think, for Christmas. Love Panda Express. Um, Taco Bell. S tier, right? 
Subway A tier? Popeyes A tier? Steak and Shake B tier? How does that look, ladies and gentlemen? I think that's a nice looking list. I mean, Taco Bell and McDonald's are classics, right? They're staples. Panda Express is like a personal favorite. I don't expect everyone to have it in S. I think most people would probably have it in B, but it's like my personal favorite. The hardest meals I've ever gotten have come from Panda Express. Oh, Popeyes, though. Here's my problem. I always get the, like the tackle box or like the shrimp box. Mm. And the first time I ever got pulled over was because I was speeding to go home to eat my Popeyes. So maybe it, it's an S, but because it got pulled over, I put it at B or A. Subway, if Subway's a B, come on, stop playing with me. No, it's not though. No, it's not. Ah, Panera, Panera is an S. The bread bowls. Oh, what I would give for a bread bowl right now. I think this is a fair list. Maybe we'll just do that. A lot of people probably are really wondering about my sanity when it comes to that Long John Silver's in the middle there. Is that bold? Is that too bold? Is Long John Silver's too much? Hmm. Is it Pizza Hut? Should, should that be in D? Should Papa John's be higher? No. You know what? This is my list. I'm going to stick to it proudly. Wait. No. I was going to say, Jimmy John's not being at A's a sin, but actually, the price point, I usually only get it if I have gift cards or if I'm at work. So you know what? No. This is my this is my tier list. Um, this is, a lot of people say this is just my opinion. This is not an opinion. This is fact. This has been proven by science, and the science is me. So uh, if you have a different opinion, I'll leave it in the comments. I'll probably uh, link the tier list in the comments if you want to try it yourself, but this is the objectively correct choice. Thanks for watching.